What is going on WWE Supercard players around the world and welcome back to the brand new episode of WWE Supercard Season 3. Now today's episode is kind of cool because I actually made it to the finals in my first ever SummerSlam 17 King of the Ring. Which is pretty weird to be honest because I don't remember if I've ever made it to the finals since Season 2 came in that I've ever made it to the finals in the first ever King of the Ring of a new tier. So this is really huge. I didn't expect to make it to the finals. And do you think I actually won? Or do you think if I lost? So game one, as you can see on the screen, I won. And game two, he won, unfortunately. And game three, he got it again. So it was a hard fought battle. There was like no easy game at all in this King of the Ring. It was competitive like throughout all the way and if you want to see what competition is just look at this okay congrats to kick he actually win quick kick i don't know how to pronounce that if you want to see competition this king of the ring was that like everyone made it through but except me i lost the game one of quarters and i pulled it back the quarters was like it was like really really close it was just, just like the procs matter a lot at this stage so Proxima went my way, the calls went my way and I actually made it to the semis. Now in semis too, like the other side as you can see the 8th seed actually made it to the you know semifinals which is kind of ridiculous that the first seed got bumped out in the quarters itself because he was like going really strong into the brackets. But as you can see over here like in Summer Slam King of the Rings it doesn't really matter anymore now because it's just like if the calls go your way you can actually win or you just get wrecked simple as that and as you can see again I lost the game one but pulled it back in game two and three like just see this it was like just so close speed charisma if my Bailey hadn't proc I would have probably lost this match I think I lost this match so doesn't matter so we we'll get these finals reward but before we get into that let's just quickly go and get the Kurt Angle event card like finally Kurt Angle gets the card in this game which is really great so I forgot to activate the pick doubler my bad hopefully we get it in the next bout and so yeah really happy that Kurt Angle finally gets a card in Supercard like it's been due for so long he's been back for like what two three months now and pretty sure like he joined during the Hall of Fame so that's like April so since April they didn't give us any Kurt Angle card so we were actually expecting a new tier to drop and they actually delayed it a lot but finally it's here and it's looking pretty good and I actually got my team battleground pack platinum pack I was gonna record that for the video as well I actually have the clip recorded but the reward I got was just like Wrestlemania cards so I just decided to you know not actually upload it in this in this video because it's just useless I mean who cares for Wrestlemania cards it's just stupid so Harley race and okay no shot no problem we'll play one more bout and that should be enough I'll just activate that peg doubler that should be enough easily so let's get this curved angle done right now and then we'll actually go and get the king of the ring rewards and then we'll actually try to pull our SummerSlam card of the board because I think I've got like 150 resets or something because 108 from ring domination that's 36 cards per you know 36 shards per card up. and let's just get that so first let's do this now and now I'm just not gonna challenge it because challenging is just wasting time uh, so let's play Adam Rose over here Seth Rollins goes there and that's an easy win 6 to 3 and that broken supports thing it will be fixed by the next ring domination they say I hope they compensate by providing some credits maybe not sure so let's get this Kurt Angle and there it is it's done finally Kurt Angle is in WWE Supercard and if, if you haven't seen this finisher it looks okay but the animation after the finisher looks pretty damn good so there's Kurt Angle let's actually go lock him in and then we'll get our King of the Ring reward let's just go to home my cards let's go to SummerSlam not combinable let's go to general cards let's go to SummerSlam 17 come on oh there's my stupid Brock uh, there's Kurt Angle and there's his son Jason Jordan and Chris Jericho was my freebie if you haven't checked the video you can go and check it out I actually got you know three freebies we actually did a collab and we ended up getting three freebies in one video which was pretty cool and now let's get the king of the ring rewards 
so yeah drop your predictions in the comment section below who do you think will be my first ever SummerSlam 17 card from the King of the Ring finals and to be honest I hope it's a bad card like you you must be thinking like this is that's just stupid why do you want a bad card it's because the bad card it is I mean the worse it is the better it is for to draw by in an event so I hope I get a bad card or if it's good at least be a top card I don't expect a Chris Jericho or Jason Jordan because that's just ridiculous and there's like 75 cards in the tier so the odds of getting a pro is like really slim so anyways let's just claim SummerSlam 17 superstar here we go 3 2 1 let's see what do we get and we get ourselves Natalia that's that's not bad like that's not bad that's a female uh, pretty good and actually you know females are really hard to get by in this game right now so I'm really happy that I got a female so Natalia she'll definitely be of huge help if I get a pro for like female pros in King of the Rings it's just sudden death like you can easily go to semi-finals and finals easily you just need a call in your favor and that's it so Natalia she's not a pro she's my first ever SummerSlam 17 female and I'll take it happily no problem whatsoever so that's really cool like I know she's not the best card in the tier but yeah she's okay like all the stats are over 9k and like not that bad she's power and charisma which is kind of weird she should have been power toughness but anyways Natalia that's really cool let's just quickly go lock her in and wow, that sounded a little bit weird anyways there's Natalia let's see if we can put some other images on her I think I have the Wrestlemania from season 1 as well I think that'll look good we have this one that looks pretty weird yeah, this looks good yep that looks pretty good so now let's just try and go and get ourselves a SummerSlam pull off the board I'm not sure if I'll get a pull to be honest but let's just try our luck maybe we'll get lucky so let's just quickly go and get some picks off the board first of all so let's just go up here for uh, for I'll get 24 that should do it 12 16 oh wait 2024 20, yeah, that should be enough to get ourselves you know one reset and let's see if we can actually pull a SummerSlam card. I hope it's not a support. And even if it's a support, I hope it's a two sad manager because anything else is just useless. Any other support card just won't make any sense to use in King of Drinks at all. And just managers are useful at this point, nothing else. So not Bob, it's probably a bot. Let's play it against not Bob and see if we can get a SummerSlam 17 pull off the board. Let's go. Let's just quickly play through, play through this. It's just a bot game. Uh, let's do that. Some more Joe. Yeah, easy games. That's just easy three picks. I think rank give you, gives you four picks. I'm not sure. I think I saved 24, so it should be 28. If I'm not wrong. And there's a new method to you know save picks. Actually, if you don't already know that, you can actually save picks. Uh, I don't exactly know how it works like I've seen Rainbow Warrior and JB store like 200 and 600 picks which is kind of absurd so let's just go through this board like not many cards remaining oh god there's a SummerSlam pull I mean yeah that's sad so I'm not close to my pull this pretty much means that I got a SummerSlam pull but it was not SummerSlam 17 yeah that happened so anyways let's just smash through this board and then I'll end the video so edge Sin Cara energy another charge useful for team background I mean the odds of team background is just ridiculous nobody's getting a good not, not even good a bad summer slam card from the packs like I think it's 1 is to 10 or maybe 1 is to like 8 people maybe I'm not sure because the odds are pretty ridiculous no I cannot I barely saw like some people tweet out that they got SummerSlam cards most of them were getting WrestleMania 33's and the odds are pretty messed up even in the normal packs that you can buy for credits I just saw some pack openings and man the odds are pretty messed up uh, I think they want to 
you know, keep the tier alive for longer now. So that's probably the reason why they're doing that. So yeah, that was my video for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do leave a like or dislike, whatever. Leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you did not like the video. And leave a comment if you think this video was great. And if you not, suggestions, anything, I'll do my best to, you know, bring content daily from now on because I've been a bit lazy when it comes to upload since like a month maybe because the tier of WrestleMania 33 was so dead and I just didn't want to upload anymore so yeah I on the track now let's go forward and hopefully we will have some fun this fun with this game right now because it's really getting good and hopefully it stays that way so yeah, that was my video for today guys hope you enjoyed it I'll see you guys in the next video till then peace out